dropped very soon. But right now, we're going to do something that's very near and dear to my heart. It is Fed Time Stories. So, I want you guys to do your exclamation point pajamas and get your little bodies ready for a mystical tale of intrigue and adventure. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, YouTube. Chat. I'm going to need a, an exclamation point monster. And the first exclamation point monster that I see will be the topic of tonight's Fed Time story. Yo, to Strange Tamer, welcome. Guys, everybody do your exclamation point pajamas. The Awkward and Glossy Goblin. Alright, and I am going to need an exclamation point rival. An exclamation point rival. What's going on, Tamer? Exclamation point rival. First rival I saw. Alright, guys, this story is going to be about the awkward and glossy goblin named Toothpick. Toothpick was a very smart goblin. He spent many days reading. And he lived in a goblin town full of goblin tinkerers. Toothpick the goblin thought, if there was only something I could do to bring my knowledge to the entire goblin town. So Toothpick decided to make an invention to give his knowledge to the entire town. Toothpick worked and he toiled and he made a device, a very strange device, and it looked like a, like a cone on the end of a speaker, on the end of a computer, on the end of a gorilla's brain. Toothpick decided to activate the device, and he said, this will give everyone in Goblinton my knowledge. And so he turned it on. He pressed the button. Chat, the password? Do you want to know what the password was, chat? Does anybody know what the password was? It was 123. Chat, can we do the password together? Here we go. Chat, say it with me. One, two, three, boom, went the device, and a wave went out across all of Goblinton. Toothpick thought, now they'll all know what I know. So, Toothpick strolled down to Goblinton, his chest puffed out like a piece of popcorn that had been popped first among all the kernels. The maximum popped. Stay puff. Paparoo. And he went to the shopkeep and he said, Alejandro, the shopkeep, I've shared my knowledge. What, tell me, what, what do you know of goblin particle physics? And Alejandro decided to uh, try to wear one of the mugs on his head. He was silent. Weird. Weird. Thought Toothpick. Could this be some new form of expression? From the master intelligence I've given everyone? Perhaps, perhaps. So off, off Toothpick went to the, the local goblin rabbi. And the goblin rabbi was chewing on a can of paint. And Toothpick thought to himself, Are there nutrients in paint that I've never thought of before? Tell me, rabbi, why, why do you chew on that can of paint? And the rabbi simply spat paint into the air like a fountain of mystical color. The toothpick thought, this isn't right. I will go see my best, best friend, Floss. Toothpick's best friend, his name was Floss. Could you believe him? So Toothpick went to go see Floss at Floss's mansion. And he noticed immediately something was wrong. Smoke was rising from Floss's mansion and out front. Floss was, was, uh, holding a torch, waving it, giggling like a madman. <laughs> Floss, what are you doing? Said Toothpick. Did you light your house on fire? No answer. Floss just giggled and looked at the fire. He even touched it a couple times. No good. So. Toothpick thought long and hard. Long and hard. About 
What could have happened? And he thought, you know what? Instead of trying to change people and make them smarter, I should appreciate them for who they are. I should go turn off my massive mind beam wave device that was connected to a gorilla's brain. Or maybe that was the problem, was the gorilla brain, but he thought, nah, I shouldn't have tried to change people anyway. That's, that's all bad. All of it is bad. All of it. So, Toothpick went back to his lab at the very peak of Goblinton, and he went to go um, put in the code. He went to go put in the code. And chat, you're gonna have to help me. Remember. Remember the code. You ready, chat? You have to help me. One. Two. And three. Boom. And a wave pulsed over the entirety of Goblinton. And from that day forward, the citizens of Goblinton were normal. And Toothpick learned a very valuable lesson. Chat, do you know what that lesson was? Chat, the lesson was never hook up your mind wave beam to a gorilla brain. Use a real brain. Use a smart person brain. Toothpick should have used his own brain. But then he would have died. And that, chat, is the story of Toothpick, the awkward and glossy goblin. Chat, I know your eyes are getting very tired. <laughs>